Welcome back everybody. So this video is kind of a different video, but I figured it'd be really informative and uh, cool for people to know how to do this. So I got a kind of a weird light situation going here, but anyways, how many of you have wanted to age your deer? And what methods have you used to age your deer? I've always personally used the tooth wear method where uh, you can look at the tooth and look at uh, the enamel, how far it's worn down on these molars here, and uh, try to see, gets kind of a guess as to how old it is. And uh, I've ran into all kinds of issues with that, especially with older deer, taking it to a biologist and biologists saying, well, that deer's four and a half, the next one's saying it's six and a half, and then the next one's saying it was three and a half. And it's just kind of like, well, this method obviously isn't that good because three different licensed biologists told me three different things. So uh, that brings me to this video and that brings me to DeerAge.com. Okay, so what DeerAge.com does, they provide forensic aging of white-tailed deer and other mammals using the cementum annuli method. And uh, it's really one of the only scientific ways to absolutely nearly positively identify the age of the critter you're sending the teeth in of. So I got this little brochure here that talks about, you know, the process a little bit. And I'll just uh, show you kind of a screenshot of what this says so I don't actually have to tell you this whole thing. So let's do that. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're actually on DeerAge.com, and I'm going to show you the exact way for you to get your teeth submitted and get them aged. So we're going to do a screen recording. I'm going to show you the exact process I'm going to take to get to the point where you get the kit in the mail, okay? Okay, everybody, so here we are on DeerAge.com, and I'm just going to briefly go over the process. You fill all your information out here, and uh, we'll just fly right through all that and uh, hit next and this is where you put all your deer's information down for your uh, certificate you're gonna get if you choose so so I'm gonna put all the information down on the deer here super simple and easy they pretty much walk you through the whole thing here and I figure this deer's four and a half And then you can uh, submit a trophy picture if you'd like.
Okay, everybody, so now we've gone through the process on the website and we have the wall ID number, which is right here. And at this point, the after you check out, they're gonna send you the kit in the mail and your kit's gonna look like this. And we'll go ahead and open it up and show you what you got. And your specimen, your kit number is your wall ID number, which is that number right there. And that's gonna be important to make sure you write that down on your specimen package here. So take these out. These are where your two teeth are gonna go in. And it gives you a card, to, a checklist here. The teeth are sealed in the envelope. That's your envelope. Your wall ID number is on the envelope. You write it right on the envelope. And the tooth is between the two cards. So you would stick it right between these two cards inside this envelope right here. So the next step is to extract the teeth from the jawbone. And it shows you uh, collecting your sample right here and how to do it. They want these two very front teeth and uh, walks you through that. Well, it goes that one, then that one. And uh, step by step how to do this. So now that we know how to do it, let's go ahead and open up my Buck's jawbone here, which is starting to stink. And we'll go ahead and extract those two front teeth. Okay, everybody, so I got my deer mounted and uh, I made sure to have the taxidermist save me the jawbone in here. So, yep, it really stinks. So, here's the jawbone, and uh, here are the two teeth that we want right in the front. So, we're going to go ahead and See if we can extract those. And according to that diaphragm, it says to cut right in the middle. So that's what I did there. Okay, there's one of them right there. We got out. And we'll work on this other one. And here's the other one. Okay, so we have our two front teeth extracted. And those are what's going to go in the envelope. Okay, so now that I've got the two teeth extracted, I'm going to take and write the specimen ID number, which is your wall ID number. Mine is W19 0 1905. So that's my ID number for the teeth. Then you open this up. And your teeth go right in there. I just bumped you. There's one, two. Okay. So the teeth are in there. We'll peel, peel this off and seal it up. Just like that. Okay, everybody. So, your official order card is right here with your first name and last name, your sample nickname, species is a whitetail, and your wall ID number, that's the same number on your sample. 
And this card's gonna go in the envelope, as well as this one is in there. And uh, what you do is you put this one, put your sample right in between the two envelopes, and then it goes in here, and you ship it out. You have to go get the right postage. It's not just normal postage. Make sure you take it to your post office, and I assume that uh, they'll weigh it and make sure you get enough postage on there. But and then depending on which uh, option you choose, you'll get it back. So you have the basic service, which is 90 days here, and uh, it's the two front teeth, and that's 33 dollars. And you have the whole mandible, or mandible, which is this entire, that's this entire jawbone pretty much. So if you ship that, say the reason you would do that is the two front teeth are missing and you still want the deer aged, they'll do that, but you have to uh, email them separately and ask them for it. So I'm actually going to do that with this doe I shot a couple years ago. It's a, it was a super old doe and I'm just curious what, what they would age her at. And then you have uh, express service 45 days, two front teeth, express service 45 days, whole front mandible, molar aging, and that's obviously with the molar. And then you can obviously add uh, a five by seven frame certificate of authentic authenticity with your deer's age on it for 15 bucks, which I did with uh, both of my orders here. So I'm sending this jaw in and I'm sending my buck in. So we'll see how old this doe is and how old that buck is. Okay, so for this sample, I'm gonna send in this whole front mandible, or I think that's what they call them. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh this whole front mandible because I don't have that front tooth right here that they're looking for that focuses. I have one of them, but anyways, I'm just gonna send in this whole thing. And I filled out the order card and I already did everything online, so this is a separate sample. And I'm gonna put this right in the Ziploc bag. And I'm actually gonna put this one in the Ziploc bag with it. So I have two samples and then I'm gonna package this at the post office and send it their way. Okay everybody, so in just a couple weeks we're gonna figure out the age on that doe I killed uh, last year and we're gonna figure out the for sure age on the buck I killed this year. So hopefully that was a pretty easy how-to. I uh, went pretty much straight to the point for everybody. Okay everybody, that's a wrap. I got the doe jaw in here and I got the two front teeth to uh, my buck that I killed on October 29th in here. So we're gonna figure out the age of these and uh, I'm actually able to hook everybody up with a 10% discount. If you guys want have a deer that you guys wanna get aged on DeerAge.com, I'm gonna put the link to their website in the description. Even if you don't wanna age a deer, you gotta go check out their website. They have a really cool website and it explains the whole process and how they do this in a forensic lab and it's it's really really cool it's much much better than uh, the wear technique of aging on on white-tailed deer and uh, they have the different percentages at how much more accurate this is and your code uh, is going to be in the description if you want 10 percent off it's kill them 10 for 10 percent off so kill them 10 and if you use that code at checkout you'll get 10 percent off of uh you know aging your deer aging kit and uh, hopefully through this video you're able to see exactly how to do that uh, it's really a pretty simple process ship them out and uh, I'll be looking forward to uh, my certificates coming in the mail shortly and when they do I'm gonna show them to you guys and uh, show you exactly how old these deer were I think that doe is pretty incredibly old it's got to be I look at the jaws when I shoot them and it, that deer had the most worn down uh, molars I've ever seen on a deer. So I'm really, really curious on that one. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'm going to continue to probably be aging some deer as the season goes goes along and I'm going to show you, uh, you know, the process a few more times here and if you ever uh, want a discount to get some, get some teeth aged, Kill them 10. And uh, you can tell your buddies about it. If you have anybody that's wanting a uh, true age on their deer and uh, they want to know for sure, I would use this system. And uh, 
get a hold of these people at DeerAge.com. So appreciate everybody watching. See you in a little bit with the age of these deer. Okay, everybody. So I have the results on the on the two deer I sent in, and uh, I actually got the results about a week and a half ago over email. But I wanted to wait till I got the strip kits to let everybody know. So. The buck that I shot was aged at six and a half years old, which was really surprising to me because I was figuring him at four and a half. And uh, after realizing what they aged him at, I went back and went through literally thousands of trail camera pictures from the past five years. And I was able to find him. Uh, I wasn't able to find him in 2016, but I didn't save very many trail camera pictures from 2016. But I found him in 2017 and 2018. So I'll show you the pictures of them in 2017, 2018, and then the picture I got of them in 2019. And uh, from 2017 to 2018, he really didn't put on very many inches. I mean, he doesn't look, uh, he looks about exactly the same in 2017 as he did in 2018. It wasn't until 2019 that he really exploded. But uh, anyways, I'll show you the, I'll show you the uh, certificate that they sent right here so they send you a pretty sweet certificate and uh, it's actually made pretty sturdy it's a plastic frame and uh, I assume a plexiglass uh, cover on it and uh, it's signed by Heather Marlette uh, the owner of Wildlife Analytical Laboratories and uh, I've uh, talked to Heather and she's uh, super good at what she does and it takes a lot of pride in, in her business so and it's right here in the USA and that's the nicest part of the whole thing I got the dog screwing with me down here but anyways let's get on to this doe so this doe uh, was really kind of random I was sitting in the ground blind with Zane down there in the strip food plot last year and uh, I can't remember so definitely the first week I think it was the first Saturday of of the season in October and uh, Zane had a doe come up and he shot it and uh, took off running and then uh, about 30 minutes later I had another big doe come up through and uh, she was kind of on to us and I actually shot her like in a, it was a frontal shot at like 14 yards I think I remember it was and she was on to us and it was so close that I was really comfortable taking that shot and I hit her right here and uh, she actually dropped from the shot and uh, it was a huge doe. I pulled the jawbone on her and was like super worn down that you've seen earlier in this video. And I was really curious as to what she would age at. And she aged at eight and a half years old. I'm actually gonna put the link to both of these videos where I killed each of these deer in the description as well. So if you wanna watch the hunt where I killed this doe, uh, the link's gonna be in the description as well as the one to that buck but anyways i really want to thank everybody for watching and i hope that uh you guys are very informed on how to send your deer into uh deerage.com now uh if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section below and i could answer them for you and uh i've actually sent a few more teeth in since these ones so i'm looking forward to the results of those thanks for watching everybody don't forget to use the 10% discount if uh, you guys are looking to send in some of your own teeth. Have a good one.